Nicole's early years were defined by a harsh and barren setting, where the warmth of love and the embrace of security remain distant dreams, caught in the grip of addiction and hardship, her parents scarcely tended to her emotional well-being, the walls of their home reverberated with the shatter of bottles, while the acrid scent of illicit substances permeated the air, amidst this tumult, Nicole found herself alone, seeking sanctuary in the shadows to evade the tumultuous clashes and erratic behavior of her parents at the tender age of 10, reality's harsh grip tightened as concerned neighbors alerted authorities to Nicole's plight, intervening, they whisked her away to an orphanage in hopes of offering her a haven of safety and warmth stripped of affection and care, Nicole's parents watched passively when she departed, seemingly unable to grasp the gravity of their decisions and shaping their daughter's life, meanwhile, tearfully bidding farewell to the only home she had known. Nicole carried with her the scars of a stolen childhood and the fragile flicker of hope for a brighter tomorrow when adolescence unfolded, Nicole found herself engulfed in a tempest of trials and solitude, each day felt like an endless labyrinth of suffering within the orphanage's confines, amidst the echoes of children's laughter, Nicole's isolation stood in stark contrast older youths, hungry for dominance in a realm devoid of authority, saw in Nicole's vulnerability an easy target for their cruel amusement, look who's here, the abandoned little girl, one taunted with a twisted grin, met by the chorus of laughter from the others, treating Nicole as but another pawn in their relentless power play, in response, Nicole erected an invisible barrier around herself, seeking refuge from the cutting words that pierced her soul, she wandered the orphanage's corridors like a solitary specter, her gaze fixed upon the ground to evade the scornful stares that trailed her every move, yet, amidst the sea of hostility, Nicole found fleeting moments of solace, nestled in a quiet corner of the courtyard, she sought solace within the worn pages of a tattered book, finding respite from the storm within the sanctuary of her imagination, Nicole found a portal to other realms tucked away among the yellowed pages and dusty bookcases, the stories of made-up individuals dissolved the anguish of her current life under the tattered covers of long-forgotten books, are you okay, a soft voice said. Breaking her thoughts, Nicole looked up to meet the caring eyes of the middle-aged caretaker of the orphanage, whose eyes were filled with compassion despite their weariness, Nicole nodded shyly and forced a flimsy grin before tucking back into the pages of the book and longing for the fleeting release from the encroaching darkness of loneliness as the days dragged on interminably inside the orphanage. Nicole had to find inner fortitude to face the innumerable hardships she faced, she held on to. A ray of optimism through every hardship, a lighthouse in the shadow of her unknown future, Nicole held a dream in the shadows of the orphanage, a dream as flimsy as a feather in the wind, a dream of a family, of a home, where love and care would envelop her and give her the safety and compassion she so desperately needed every lonesome night rang with the quiet cry of this unvoiced wish, the stars silent witnesses to her unfulfilled dreams, with her eyes focused on the fading hostile ceiling. She muttered to herself, when I grow up, I want to be adopted by a family that genuinely loves me, she dreamed of a father teaching her to ride a bike, of a caring mother embracing her, and of laughing and sharing secrets with siblings amid the sound of sleeping children's sighs, but in spite of her sincere hopes, the hard reality of life at an orphanage served as a sobering reminder that not all dreams come true, weeks turned into months, and months into years, and Nicole never heard from a loving family, with a mix of fear and hope in her eyes, she boldly asked one of the caregivers, do you think someone will ever adopt me, the woman let out a sigh, the deep anguish of an unchangeable reality showing in her eyes, you never know, my dear, she answered, placing a reassuring hand on Nicole's shoulder, the important thing is to never lose hope, Nicole thus traversed the gloomy days of the orphanage, waiting patiently for the miracle that may turn her lonely world into one brimming with love and belonging, all the while feeling the burning sting of rejection and the merest flicker of hope, Nicole, then 18, walked hesitantly through the orphanage's chilly, ominous gates, bearing the burden of a life filled with hardships and hopelessness, she was greeted by the golden rays of the morning sun as though it were a new chapter ready to be written on the pages of her story, when she strolled down the well-known city streets, a turbulent storm of feelings swirled inside of her. The grim past of the orphanage was behind her, and the unknown future loomed before like a meandering, never-ending road, Nicole breathed out a sigh of relief and whispered to herself, finally free, she looked up at the wide blue sky and felt a wave of hope surge through her, Nicole set out on an emotional quest to find her missing roots, driven by her desire to solve the mystery surrounding her beginnings, 
she followed the thin trail of hints left by the ghosts of the past, faint whispers from old neighbors who hardly remembered her, faded names and ancient records, and the whereabouts of her parents, that is, until one depressing afternoon, Nicole found herself standing in front of the small door of the home she had previously called home, she lifted a shaking hand to tap on the aged wood, her heart thumping unevenly in her breast, but for a tense period, there was quiet as there was no response from the other side. Nicole carefully opened the door, revealing a long vacant, empty house. Nicole didn't learn the truth about her origins until an old friend of her parents told her that they had passed away. The humble house that now belonged to her and the terrible memories of her biological parents, who had abandoned her, lay in silent graves. Nicole accepted the reality in her newfound ownership of her past, in spite of the wounds from the past and the difficulties that awaited her, Nicole felt a glimmer of hope within her, a reminder that there is always light at the end of the tunnel, Nicole was forced to navigate unfamiliar waters where uncertainty lurked around every corner, when the university doors remained locked to her, she was left adrift in a sea of limited options when her hopes of a bright career faded in the harsh light of adulthood's unyielding reality, Nicole told a childhood acquaintance, I really wish I could have gone to college, the possibility of what may have been visible in her eyes, but it seems like fate had other plans for me, with a sympathetic nod. Her companion put a consoling hand on Nicole's shoulder, life can lead us down unexpected paths at times, she remarked quietly, the important thing is to find happiness wherever it may be, Nicole bravely and resolutely plunged headfirst into the workforce, stumbling through the rough seas of maturity in pursuit of a lifeline, her first job was as a menial cashier at a neighborhood grocery, where she dealt with irate patrons and scanned products using barcode readers all day long. Check out number 3, please. Nicole called out with a gentle smile, the rhythmic beeps of the scanner forming a musical backdrop to her daily routine, though far from the glamorous career she once envisioned for herself, Nicole found solace in the familiar rhythm of the supermarket, where each day brought a sense of purpose and fulfillment, it was a job that paid the bills and provided a safe harbor amidst life storms in the workplace, Nicole formed a special bond with David, the kind hearted driver responsible for transporting goods from the supermarket each day. After the end of their workday, the two found refuge in deep and meaningful conversations, sharing life experiences, dreams, and challenges. How was your day, Nicole? David would inquire with a welcoming smile, their exchange serving as a beacon of connection in the bustling world around them. Nicole's voice pierced the air when David unloaded boxes from the truck, her enthusiasm mixed with tiredness, you wouldn't believe it. David, she said, today at the cash register was a whirlwind, over the sound of items being taken out of the car, Nicole and David, while working together on assignments, took comfort in private conversations where they discussed their worldviews and discovered areas of agreement despite their differences, every time we speak, David, it's like discovering an oasis in the middle of the desert, it's such a comfort to share all of this with you, Nicole said appreciating their friendship's importance between them in the middle of the aisles and crates a true bond grew that went beyond the ordinary moments of daily existence with his heart racing with anxious anticipation david plucked up the confidence to approach nicole in the peaceful supermarket parking lot bathed in golden sunlight with a hint of hope mixed with fear david yelled nikki there's something i need to tell you nicole looked back at him her eyes capturing the depth of his feelings with wonder dancing in her voice she said, what is it, David, David opened up with his sentiments with purpose, his words coming out gradually, I've been feeling something for you for some time now, and I wanted to know if you'd like to be my girlfriend, Nicole's cheeks flushed with surprise and delight as David confessed, her heart missing a beat, yes, I accept, she muttered, her voice stifled with emotion, David, Nicole, and David then shared a romantic hug, signaling the start of a journey full of love and companionship, Amid the beautiful glow of the setting sun and the soft whispers of the afternoon air, time seemed to stop still in a timeless instant of shared bliss during that moment of absolute beauty, it was more than simply the beginning of a relationship for them, it was a celebration of a profound bond that united them in an unbreakable web of love and concern, it was an unmatched moment that would live on forever in the depths of their impassioned hearts, it left an enduring impression on them. As time went on, the love seeds that David and Nicole sowed blossomed into a lush garden of warmth and camaraderie, every time they spent together turned into a symphony of meaningful glances and grins, 
a silent witness to the strong relationship that united them, I feel so lucky to have you in my life, David said one peaceful evening when they cuddled together in the bright moonlight, you've brought light into my life, his eyes were full of affection as he gently caressed her face, and I'm glad to be here, Nicole retorted sympathetically, you're my ray of sunshine on cloudy days, David and Nicole, bound by the unbreakable tie of genuine love, set off on a voyage of metamorphosis amid warm embraces and shared laughter, David's courage and commitment allowed Nicole to renovate the old house she inherited and bring her dreams back, even if they had seemed to fade, David commented it's looking beautiful, taking in the results of their hard work, it's as if this house is coming back to life, Nicole grinned, gratitude shining in her eyes, her hand fell to David's, it's thanks to you, David, she said, you've brought hope to this place and to meet David and Nicole created a haven of love and happiness where dreams were woven into an endless tapestry of possibilities, all amid the sounds of hammer blows and paintbrush strokes, it served as a monument to the transforming force of love, able to raise even the most exquisite homes from the ashes following several months of affection and shared commitment, David made a choice that would permanently change their life. He was kneeling in front of Nicole on a moonlit, romantic night beneath a starry sky, a velvet box containing a sparkling ring in his hand, David said, his voice shaking with emotion, Nicole, my beloved, will you share your life with me forever, Nicole's eyes filled with tears when she was overcome with happiness, she said, yes, David, her voice quivering with emotion, I do, consequently, before the silent witnesses of the stars, David and Nicole exchanged vows of commitment in an act of unending love, a little while later, they went to the small town hall, where they were surrounded by peace and love, they exchanged straightforward but significant rings in a private and heartfelt ceremony while wearing their best clothes, David looked directly at Nicole and said, I promise you love and loyalty today and forever, with an intensity that warmed her spirit, Nicole answered, I promise to love and support you in all moments, her voice resonating with the unwavering confidence of their shared love, David and Nicole made the most important decision of their life when they entered into matrimony, becoming husband and wife as well as soulmates who would walk hand in hand forever, all under the registrar's careful eye, the intensity of the love that enveloped them caused time to seem to stop still at this moment of absolute enchantment, David and Nicole were enveloped in the love that surrounded them as their days progressed slowly, love pervaded every aspect of their lives. Together, they navigated the placid waves of life together, laughing and hugging each other when they went, each day promising to bring them happiness again, Nicole told David some news that would alter their life forever on a bright morning as the sun shone its golden rays over the planet, she held his hand carefully, her eyes beaming with a mix of delight and dread, her pulse racing madly in her breast David, she said in a quiet, emotion-filled voice, I have something important to tell you. David turned to look at her, the luminous warmth of their shared love reflected in his inquisitive eyes, with a note of eagerness dancing in his voice, he questioned, what is it, my love, Nicole smiled brightly and shared the news she had been dying to tell, she declared, I'm pregnant, David, with an unfathomable sense of joy in every word, David's eyes went wide with fleeting disbelief, then filled with uncontrollable excitement, with a brilliant smile on his lips, he cried, Nicole, that's wonderful, I'm so happy, so excited, under the everlasting link of love and hope, David and Nicole celebrated the wonder of life blossoming within her, surrounded by the dazzling glow of anticipation and joy, the future appeared before them like a priceless present ready to be opened, full with the promise of a love that would only deepen with time, it was a truly magical moment, as Nicole waited impatiently for David to return, the sun shined brightly over the city, filling the sky with peaceful, tones of blue, Nicole's heart pounded in sync with the passing of time, each second seeming like a lifetime as she awaited the sound of his footsteps reverberating down the corridor, but tragedy's shadows were gathering, blocking out the light with their gloomy presence, with David still missing and the hours dragging mercilessly toward dusk, anxiety started to seep into Nicole's heart like a silent shadow over her delight, the phone finally rang loudly through the home, its urgent ringing, Disturbing the calm of the night as it covered the sleeping city in a dark mantle, Nicole answered with shaky palms, a dark premonition tightening her heart, on the other end of the telephone, the grocery owner's voice echoed, his breathing hard and laboring, I'm so sorry, my dear, but there's something you need to know about David, Nicole felt as though a dagger had pierced her soul, causing excruciating suffering, she kneeled in a flood of agony and despair when the ground seemed to give way. 
Beneath her feet, what happened? She muttered, the weight of the inevitable in her voice quivering. Subsequently, Nicole's entire world collapsed in a single sentence, transforming into an ocean of tears and uncontrollably sobbing, her dear David had met an untimely end at the hands of fate, he was killed in an accident that took his life and left an unbridgeable hold behind, Nicole's heart was ripped apart by an unbearable tempest of pain that dragged her into an unfathomable pit of suffering and despair. Every minute passed that felt like a funeral dirge, every breath a sobering reminder of what was lost forever, the strength of her emotions caused her body to shiver, and the stifling agony that was about to consume her completely caused her chest to constrict. Nicole muttered, it can't be, her hands frantically gripping the phone as though it were the only thing securing her connection to the outside world. Tell me, though it wasn't the truth, her attempts at denial were futile, drowned out by the overwhelming roar of sorrow that inundated her mind, she found herself incapable of Looking beyond the engulfing darkness, her entire being trembling with pain and shock, despair hung over her like a suffocating cloak, shrouding her in a mist of hopelessness, and then, like a relentless tempest, her own anguish surged forth, a tumult of emotions that swept her away in its destructive wake, her blood pressure soared, the weight of despair pressing down on her with unbearable intensity until she succumbed to unspeakable suffering, collapsing under its burden in the stark, bright, lights and cacophonous sounds of the hospital, Nicole felt as though she was wrapped in a cold, unforgiving shroud, each heartbeat echoed the painful rhythm of her loss as doctors fought to stabilize her condition, with each passing moment, she felt the last glimmer of hope extinguish within her, leaving her vulnerable to the shadows that loomed in her mind, confronted with the harsh reality of her existence, Nicole grappled with the cruelty of fate, her life marred by tragedy and irreversible loss. She was now a widow, robbed not only of her beloved husband but also of the child she would never have the chance to know. In the abyss of her grief, a bitter truth began to take hold in her shattered psyche. Fate had not only stolen her present but also her future. Each new day seemed to bear down on her with a heavier burden of sadness and desolation, enveloping her in a cloak of unending pain. She struggled to find even a glimmer of hope in the dark labyrinth of her existence, but each attempt slipped through her fingers like water leaving her grasping at shadows, she said, her voice almost heard above the deafening silence that surrounded her, I don't know how I'm going to go on, David, she muttered, the lifeless shell of a house bereft of the beautiful memories Nicole had held dear, mirrored Nicole's murmured comments, tears streamed down her face like a torrent of anguish, bathing her soul with an unspeakable pain, I miss you so much, and our baby, she murmured, she made a valiant attempt to cling to the shattered remains of her former existence, but they escaped her grasp like quicksand, drawing her farther into the depths of hopelessness, then, as if by cruel twist of fate, she received news that broke her already frail world, a terrible truth that turned her suffering into a nightmare even more horrific than the one she had before, her aspirations of a happy family came to an end when the doctor's words resonated in her head like a melancholic funeral bell. Nicole said in a whisper, her voice choked with intense anguish, it can't be, the darkness engulfing her like a garment of oppression, I can't believe this is happening, Nicole was lost and had no idea how to go, so she was confronted with the difficult task of trying to locate light in the dark tunnel that lay ahead of her, all she could be sure of, though, was that the road ahead would provide many more difficulties than she could have ever imagined, Nicole tiredly made her way home as the last of the day's golden light faded over the sleeping city, her footfall heavy with fatigue, but instead of the warmth of her home, she was met with the empty of nothingness, she stared with joyful eyes as flames danced through the windows, devouring everything in their hungry embrace, horror gripped her, oh no, she exclaimed, her horror and incredulity blending into a mounting panic that covered her like a black shroud, it can't be, she gasped and gasped in shock at the apocalyptic image that was playing out in front of her, as the intense heat of the fire seemed to take the breath out of her, that this was her home, the final safe haven in a world falling apart around her, was nearly unfathomable, Nicole said, David, in a whisper, her voice stifled by an immense anguish that washed over her like a swelling wave, our home, Nicole stood seeing her goals and dreams reduced to nothing but ashes and ruins by the ruthless fire, and tears flowed down her cheeks, silent witnesses to her unfathomable sorrow, there was nothing left of the past, instead, 
it served as a sobering reminder of how short life is and how ephemeral everything we value most, Nicole found herself completely disoriented and unsure of how to go in the wake of such destruction, submerged in a chasm of hopelessness and sadness, she felt as though the foundation of her entire universe was collapsing, leaving her open to the unrelenting fire that destroyed not just her belongings but also her faith and hope for a better future when night fell on the city. Nicole was forced to face the brutal truth of her circumstances as it enveloped her in a veil of darkness, not only had the fire destroyed her home, but it had also ripped apart her hopes and goals, leaving her stranded in a hostile world full with unanswered problems, Nicole was pulled from the depths of her sadness by a worried voice that pierced through the stifling silence, it was her childhood buddy, surveying the destruction with a worried and doubtful expression on their faces, Nicole looked into their eyes in an attempt to find comfort, but even their loving gaze was insufficient to quell the conflict inside of her, she said, I don't know, her voice weak and tremulous with emotion that threatened to overtake her, I'm completely lost, there is nowhere for me to go, she felt as though an anchor was pressing down on her, pulling her deeper and deeper into her own pit of sorrow, Nicole was in shock at the horrible turn of events that had robbed her of everything that was important to her, nevertheless, amid the wreckage of her past existence, a glimmer of resolve appeared within her, a small ray of hope that defied the unrelenting punches of fate, she realized that in order to rebuild from the flames of her past, she needed to find a means to move forward, Nicole set out on a voyage of rejuvenation, abandoning the remnants of her former residence in search of an uncertain but potential future, armed with her newly discovered, Resolve, the path ahead was certain to be difficult and full of detours, but she was determined to face it head on, Nicole spent some time living in a shelter while she looked for a little apartment, when she came out of the shop, the sun was setting and her eyes were reflecting the tiredness of yet another hard day, the sky was turning gold, her arms were burdened by the hefty bags, which served as a continual reminder of her obligations and seemingly never-ending concerns, Nicole was buried in. Her thoughts when she made her way down the small lane that divided the busy street from the supermarket when she heard an unanticipated sound, a soft, helpless whimper that stopped her in her tracks, she scowled and focused her senses, trying to find the source of the noise, Nicole first believed she would find a lost animal when she walked up to the stacked trash cans against the wall, but the whimper, growing louder and more forceful, suggested something more, Nicole's eyes widened in amazement as she finally located the source of the sound. Oh my god, she uttered in a murmur as she took in the sight, it's a baby, Nicole's heart pounded with a mix of emotions as she slowly approached the tiny being amidst the debris, despite the fear and confusion evident in the baby's wide eyes, it appeared unharmed, albeit very frightened, with a soft murmur, Nicole reassured the child, it's okay, little one, you're safe now, carefully, she reached out her hands, mindful not to further scare the baby, when she lifted him gently into her arms, Nicole felt the weight of his tiny body against her chest, a sense of protectiveness flooded her being as she cradled him, his relief evident in a sigh, with a racing heart, Nicole gazed at the fragile baby before her, overwhelmed by astonishment, compassion, and outrage, the innocence in his dark eyes seemed to plead for protection and comfort, awakening Nicole's dormant maternal instinct, oh my god, she murmured, her voice choked with emotion when she knelt beside him, how could anyone abandon such a helpless little creature like you, tears threatened to spill from her eyes as she tenderly stroked the baby's soft cheek, feeling the fragility of his existence against her palm, she knew she couldn't leave that child alone, exposed to the cruelties of the world, a fierce determination ignited within her, like a burning flame, you'll be okay, my little angel, whispered Nicole, her voice soft and reassuring when she cradled the baby in her arms, I'll take care of you, I promise, Nicole gingerly stood, up, the infant securely cradled in her arms, and felt the weight of her load ease from her chest, driven by the desire to care for and protect the small creature that was now dependent on her for survival, she set off on her trek home with determination and steadiness, she was filled with mixed emotions when she stared at the baby, thoughts dancing in her mind like leaves in the wind, her heart pounded fiercely in her chest, doubts and desires resounding like a clamor inside of her, a timid voice in her head whispered, what will we do now? Nicole, it was the same doubt and anxiety that had followed her since discovering the abandoned infant, are we ready for this, Nicole closed her eyes and tried to block out the voices in her heart that were screaming doubts and fears as she let herself sink into the soothing calm of her surroundings, 
she was aware that she had to make a decision that would permanently alter both her life and the life of the defenseless infant, Nicole said to herself. Hardly audible above the night's stillness, sending him to an orphanage would be the right thing to do, but something inside me says he belongs with me, that he's my son, Nicole understood firsthand how horrible it was to grow up in an orphanage, and she didn't want the infant to go through the same thing, her comments were accompanied by a confidence that was like a revelation. A bright light that chased away the doubt and worry that had been enveloping her, Nicole felt deep down that the baby wasn't just an abandoned child, rather, it was a priceless gift that fate had given to her, Nicole softly whispered, you're mine, my little one, when she gazed at the child she was holding, her black eyes shone with a mixture of determination and affection, you're my son, and I'll take care of you with all the love I have, her remarks seemed to contain a profound promise that reverberated across time and space, resonating in the atmosphere surrounding her, Nicole was prepared to tackle the obstacles and hardships that lay ahead in order to give her kid the love and security he so richly deserves, Nicole walked into the register office, the baby in her arms, and Eric deserved the sun beaming down from the sky like a beacon of hope, she faced the obstacles ahead with determination, her every heartbeat reflecting her will to succeed, Nicole was met at the service counter by a serious looking clerk whose eyes searched her face with a mixture of distrust and fascination, Nicole inhaled, deeply and gathered all her bravery before beginning to share her experience, the clerk said, good afternoon, ma'am, breaking the stillness of the registrar office with his voice, how can I assist you, Nicole gripped the infant tightly in her arms and fixed the man in her eyes, her resolve was evident in her expression, Nicole said, I would like to register my son, sounding solid and determined despite the anxiety she was experiencing on the inside, his name is Eric, the clerk looked at Nicole with a sharp glance and arched an eyebrow, his demeanor growing even more suspicious, the clerk murmured, I see, with a hint of uncertainty in his voice, and where exactly was the baby born, Nicole took a deep breath and felt the clerk's remarks like a weight holding her to the spot, if she told the truth, she would not be able to keep the baby, so she made up a lie, I don't have a fixed address, Nicole stated, her voice growing softer and more strained from the deception, and it was just Eric and I on the street, a hospital was out of my price range, the clerk cast a sharp assessment of Nicole with a scowl and a look of distrust on his face, just when he was about to say no to her request, Nicole's persistence caused him to change his mind, I see, the cashier mumbled, his tone slightly softening, I have some items to check, kindly give it a moment, Nicole held her breath, her heart pounding wildly when she anxiously awaited the clerk's verdict, every passing second felt like an eternity until, finally, he returned with a grave and solemn look, I've decided to make an exception in this case, announced the clerk, his voice resonating with authority, I will register the baby, but on the condition that you provide a valid address as soon as possible, a smile of relief lit up Nicole's face as she thanked the clerk wholeheartedly, thank you, thank you, murmured Nicole, her voice choked with relief and gratitude, you have no idea how much this means to me then, with the formalities completed. Nicole found herself leaving the registry office with Eric in her arms, her heart overflowing with gratitude and hope for the challenging but promising future that awaited them, as long as she could provide Eric a safe, loving environment, she was willing to confront it head on, Nicole's days turned into a never-ending dance between her professional obligations and the priceless time she spent with Eric, all of which were devoted to and full of love, when mother and son set off on their regular trek, the sun timidly rose over the horizon, casting golden hues across the sky, Nicole softly said, have a good day at daycare, my dear, as she assisted Eric in getting ready for yet another exciting day of exploration, her lips formed an endearing smile, make lots of friends and have lots of fun, Eric's exquisite face was illuminated by a look of trust and excitement when he gazed at her with sparkling eyes, Nicole felt his solid grasp on her hand, a small gesture that brightened her heart like a ray of sunlight on a gloomy day, Eric, getting ready to leave, said in a childlike voice full of excitement, I'll have so much fun, mommy, I can't wait to see you again tonight, Nicole observed her son walking away with compassion, feeling a mixture of pride and sadness in her breast when she watched him vanish from sight, she was aware that these were priceless times, an enduring symbol of their love and the ties that bound them together, mother and son reconnected in a cozy hug at night, as the setting sun cast the sky in pink and purple hues, each moment infused with the enchantment of unwavering love, 
they made priceless memories that will be treasured in their hearts forever as they conversed, laughed, shared secrets, and dreamed together. Eric whispered, I love you, mommy. His eyes gleaming with love, Eric's comments, you're the best mom in the world, flowed like a soft song as he nestled into Nicole's embrace. They served as a comforting reminder of the wonder of maternal love and the value of family bonds, feeling the unbreakable link that bound them together. Nicole embraced Eric close, grateful for every treasured moment, ten years had gone by since their first kiss and since Eric had grown from a frail baby to a lively child, like a never-ending river, time carried memories and events that molded their journey as a couple, Nicole was thrilled with a mixture of pride and thankfulness when she looked at Eric, taking in the amazing young man he had grown into, his black eyes shone with a sense of hope and ferocious purpose that illuminated the way. Ahead, when Eric played in the backyard, Nicole softly spoke, you're growing up so fast, my love, her grin showing the warmth of her adoration, Eric's eyes were innocent and full of promise, full of the light of childhood and the promise of things to come, he leaped into Nicole's arms, his uncomplicated embrace like the warmth of the sun on a wintry winter's day, with a sweet and genuine voice, Eric said, thank you for everything, mom, stepping back to meet her gaze, his comments, you're the best, mom in the world, and I love you more than words can express, surrounded Nicole with loving appreciation for their time together, Nicole planned a simple birthday party for Eric, filling their house with colorful balloons, cheerful decor, and the smell of freshly baked goods, while friends and neighbors were having a good time, there was a sudden silence when a sleek black SUV drove up, standing out against the neighborhood's modest appearance, Nicole felt her heart skip a beat when a dapper, Gentlemen with an aura of authority and sophistication appeared, bringing an unexpected twist to their celebration, amidst the familiar faces at the party, he stood out as a stranger, many questions swirled in Nicole's mind when she observed the man's measured and deliberate steps, as though burdened with the weight of an ancient and profound secret, yet, there was a gentleness in his smile, a vulnerability hidden beneath his composed facade, intriguing and unsettling Nicole simultaneously, as the elegant man approached with a serene expression, his brown eyes shimmering with determination and compassion, he greeted Nicole warmly, good afternoon, ma'am, came from him in a sweet, soothing voice, I brought a present for the birthday boy, Nicole looked him warily, her eyes narrowing when she tried to figure out why he had shown up out of the blue, who are you, she questioned, a hint of trepidation and shock in her voice, the man said, my name is Gregory, and I am Eric's father, and he did so, with a kind grin and a composed manner, Gregory's admission rocked Nicole's worldview and felt like a punch to the stomach, she was in shock and found it difficult to comprehend the enormity of what she had just heard, after years of concealment and seclusion, denial erupted within her, unwilling to acknowledge the reality, however, there was a striking similarity between Eric and the man in front of her that suggested a bond that went beyond words and time, the world appeared to swirl around. Nicole as she struggled with the shocking reality, and darkness fell when she passed out with the weight of her newfound fate, when she came to, uncertainty and rage erupted inside her, she stood up and spoke to Gregory incredulously and with a shaky voice, she yelled, how dare you show up here, Eric doesn't have a father, Gregory quietly responded to Nicole's scream, maintaining his composure and maintaining an unflinching expression despite her emotions, Gregory remarked, I understand your anger. Nicole, with a calmness that bordered on the paranormal, I wasn't here to start a fight, all I wanted was to be involved in my son's life, Nicole was still as incensed as ever at Gregory's reply, with a flash of passion, her eyes approached him determinately, well, you're not welcome here, she snapped back, go, I'm okay without you, Eric and I, Gregory looked down for a moment, a flicker of melancholy in his eyes, and then he glanced back to Nicole, his expression softening, he said gently, I understand. A melancholy smile brushing his lips, I'm going to leave, but know that if you ever decide you want me to be involved in Eric's life, I'll be here for you, after saying so, Gregory turned and left, disappearing into the night shadows while Nicole stayed there, her heart heaving with doubt and struggle, a week had gone by since Nicole and Gregory's turbulent encounter, and tension was still present when Gregory arrived to the small house carrying a small parcel wrapped in colorful paper, Eric welcomed him with pleasure, the gift in his hands illuminating his eyes, Eric was excited to open the gift and shouted, wow, thank you, Mr. Gregory, Gregory gave the youngster a warm grin and, 
when he gave the present, his eyes conveyed a mix of tenderness and sadness. You're welcome, Eric, he said in a quiet, emotion-restrained voice. Nicole observed their exchange with a mixture of fascination and trepidation, knowing that the talk with Gregory could provide much-needed answers but also being afraid of what might be said. Eric rushed off to play with the gift, and Nicole looked to Gregory, determination silent in her eyes. She stated, let's talk, her voice strong despite her tumultuous inner state of mind. Gregory followed Nicole into the living room in search of the necessary seclusion, nodding earnestly and maintaining a serious expression with a heavy sigh, as though he were carrying a lifetime of grief and remorse. Gregory sat next Nicole, staring at her intently when he started to tell her his story, my family is quite affluent, Nicole, he started, his voice heavy with sorrow, we own a large metallurgical company, so they're very traditional, very strict in their expectations, I fell in love with Jennifer, a charming waitress, my parents didn't approve, but when she became pregnant, things got even more complicated, Nicole listened carefully, her face displaying sympathy as Gregory told his tale, his voice carried the weight of regrets from the past, and it was painful, my mother did everything she could to keep Jennifer away from me, Gregory said, his voice trailing off, she created a false impression in Jennifer's mind that I was going to be engaged to someone else while I was traveling for work, Jennifer disappeared after she even made a threat against her, Nicole could not help but feel sorry for Gregory, even if his story was painful to hear, but two years ago, everything changed, Gregory said, his expression hardening, my mother was on her deathbed, and confessed everything, seeking forgiveness for her actions. Gregory's expression showed a mixture of sorrow and relief, and Nicole realized that this realization had been a turning point in his life, an opportunity for atonement in the middle of misery. Nicole was astounded by Gregory's story, her heart pounding as she processed the shocking information. She looked at him with a mix of incredulity and interest. Her voice quivered with emotion as she asked, but how did you manage to find Eric? Gregory let out a deep breath, his expression showing the weight of bad recollections, he started, his voice trailing off when he remembered, I found out that Jennifer had died a few years ago from a friend of hers, she also revealed that Jennifer had been living in poverty, unable to care for the child, so she abandoned him, Nicole was struck with a wave of sadness upon learning of Eric's unfortunate demise, and she was unable to get past the sense of hopelessness surrounding the events that resulted in such a dire predicament, Gregory went on, I knew I had to find Eric, his resolve evident in his eyes, so I hired a detective who led me to you, Nicole, Nicole, whose thoughts were racing due to the unexpected turns life had taken, was struck by Gregory's persistent determination to find his family, she felt a wave of thankfulness for having her lovely kid, Eric, in her life despite such remarkable circumstances, as she looked at him, Nicole felt a mixture of fear and uncertainty as she thought about Gregory's remarks, she questioned her place in the boy's life and was concerned about Eric's uncertain future. She looked at Gregory with worried eyes and hesitated to say anything. Nicole shook her head and said, I don't know if I can offer everything Eric deserves. Gregory, our lives are so different from one another, elegant and cozy, things that I would never be able to give him. Gregory put a soft touch on Nicole's shoulder, consoling her in the middle of her pain, kindness and empathy were visible in his eyes calmly, he added, Nicole, I understand your fears, remember, though, that I'm not here to rest Eric from you, though I don't want to take your place as his mother, I do want to be involved in his life, I could never take away from you the love and care with which you have reared him, Nicole felt the comforting words of Gregory wrap around her like a warm hug, easing some of her uncertainties and anxieties, gazing at Eric, she noticed the delight gleaming in his eyes as he played naively in the room's corner, Nicole felt a wave of comfort wash over her, knowing that with Gregory by her side, they could provide Eric with a future full of opportunity and love, she agreed and nodded with a shaky smile, Nicole remarked, I trust you, Gregory, with a tone full of appreciation, Nicole prepared to tell Eric the news with a mixture of nervousness and hope following the meaningful talk with Gregory, calling him over, she watched her son approach with a motherly curiosity, wanting to know what was going on, Nicole said, Eric, sweetheart, in a delicate yet emotional voice, remember when? We talked about family and how it can be complicated sometimes, with excitement in his eyes, Eric nodded and met Nicole's, Nicole held Eric's hands and said softly, well, there's something I'd like to tell you, family isn't always about blood, you know, love, caring, and choice are important factors at times, additionally, 
Gregory is your father, and I want you to know that Eric briefly blinked as he took in Nicole's remarks, a hesitant smile appeared on the boy's face after a brief period of silence really, he questioned, anguish choking his voice, Nicole said, yes, sweetheart, when Joya's tears welled up in her eyes, Gregory wants to be a part of our lives, and I think it would be wonderful if you had a father like him by your side, Eric pushed himself into Nicole's arms, giving her a hard squeeze with his tiny fists, I think that's cool, he beamingly remarked, I always wanted to have a dad, Nicole gave Eric a loving hug and felt her heart warmed by his earnest words, she knew that no, matter what obstacles lay ahead, they would overcome them as a family, Gregory gradually acclimated himself to Eric and Nicole's lives over the course of the days, exuding a loving and nurturing aura, together, as a recently formed family, they experienced priceless moments discovering new places, the house walls began to resound with laughter and animated talks during the morning breakfast ritual, they went to the park on beautiful weekends, where Gregory and Nicole watched adoringly when Eric ran amok among the trees, with every new discovery deepening the links that bound them together beneath the brilliant afternoon sun, the expeditions became into a much-loved tradition, they strolled along the entering paths, taking in the clean, natural air while exchanging dreams and stories, they spent quiet evenings together by the fireplace, sharing long hugs and deep talks that went into the wee hours of the morning, look, daddy, after a long day of amusement at the park, Eric exclaimed, and pointed to the starry sky as they made their way back home, it's like a sea of diamonds up there, Gregory gave the youngster a pleased smile and spoke to him in a kind but appreciative tone, you're correct, son, and the same light that you brought into our lives radiates through each of those stars, Nicole was filled with love as she watched them, and she was so grateful for the new trip they were taking together, she could feel the tide between them growing stronger with every stride, creating an unbreakable relationship that nothing could sever, Gregory and Nicole's strong friendship grew over time, entwined with strands of trust and cooperation as they experienced life's joys and tribulations together, their friendship took on a new level as their affections for each other grew stronger, their moments together grew closer as their fondness for one another was evident via their thoughtful looks and soft grins, they strolled hand in hand through parks on bright summer days, absorbed in discussion that reverberated through the air like gentle melodies, one afternoon, as they strolled under the thick canopy of trees, Gregory whispered to Nicole, Nicole, I feel like every moment with you is a precious gift, his eyes met Nicole's, who shone with an unfathomable tenderness, it's the same way, Gregory, she admitted, allowing her feelings to come through in her speech, you've brought light into my life in a way I never imagined, they found themselves in a cozy hug as twilight came silently cementing their friendship, a romance blossomed in the center of that devoted friendship, engulfing them in an unfathomable knot of love and camaraderie, Gregory's moment of humility before Nicole was surrounded by kindness and promises of a happy and loving future, he held a dazzling ring in his palm and met her eyes with intense emotion, Nicole, Gregory murmured, his voice stifled with emotion, I've learned the true meaning of love since you entered my life, I can't fathom my life, Without you at my side because you were my motivation and my light, Nicole couldn't hold back the unbridled delight in her heart and felt tears of ecstasy welling up in her eyes, her voice was heavy with love as she muttered, I gladly accept to be your wife, your partner in all the journeys life has in store for us, Eric saw his parents love bloom, and his eyes lit up with delight, I've always known you were meant to be together, he added, giving them a cozy embrace, I'm so happy to have a complete family now, the wedding ceremony took place in a stunning location with colorful flowers and music drifting in the air, and it was a spectacular display of love and unity, it was as if the cosmos was celebrating Nicole and Gregory's marriage, as they walked down the aisle together, Nicole's heart was overflowing with joy by Gregory's side, their eyes met in the middle of the crowd, and they exchanged vows to be together forever, warm applause from friends and relatives followed a passionate kiss. That cemented their union when they exchanged vows of undying love, Nicole was astounded by the mansion's grandeur and elegance when she returned there after the wedding, every area radiated comfort and luxury, representing the new life she was about to begin with Gregory, Nicole commented it's like a fairy tale, as she was in awe of the massive mansion, Gregory gave her a gentle grin and a hug, my dear, you deserve everything and more, we will write our story together here, in our home and.
shelter, Nicole had a sparkle in her eyes and was eager to begin a new chapter in her life. She was filled with gratitude and excitement for the future, ready to enjoy every minute with her spouse. The ebook, Seven Weeks of Inspiration, is waiting for you if you're prepared to go off on a singular voyage of self-discovery and personal development. This digital book, which has 49 stories total, one for every day, will accompany you every day as you embark on an inner exploration adventure. You will also receive the narrated version of the book after making your purchase, which will enable you to fully comprehend every word, get access to three exclusive goodies as well, which will enhance your transformational experience. Don't put off starting your path to become the best version of yourself. Click the link below to get your copy of 7 Weeks of Inspiration ebook and get started. Above is today's story. If you like it, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.